what's good everybody welcome back to the channel if you are new make sure to hit that subscribe button but today we got a transformation on my boy dre we're gonna shave his head off get it nice and squeaky clean and we're gonna transform his beard all right you don't want to miss this one all right this is gonna be a good one all right so first we're gonna go ahead and bald him out very simple this is nothing crazy so i'm gonna zoom through this we're just bald him out with my andy's cordless tail liners and then i'm gonna shave his head down with the bronze shaver and the reason why I use the bronze shaver compared to my gamma shavers is it's just a lot more surface and I don't want to wear down my shaver so much so I go ahead and use my bronze shaver just so I could go through the shaving of the head a lot quicker. It's a Now moving on to the beard, where you guys actually want to see the good stuff. Right now I'm just uh, saturating his beard with a little bit of water just to loosen it up. His beard is super curly. You're gonna see it. <laughs> it's gonna be like a ch 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 chia. It's gonna start. It's gonna start growing like crazy because his beard's super long. So you're gonna see how long his beard actually is. So I put some water in there so it's not pulling his beard too hard, and it's gonna you know glide. The comb's gonna glide through the beard a lot easier. As you guys can see, look how long his beard is as I'm pulling it out. There was a knot in there, but look how long that beard is. All right, that's just one strand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick through it. So right here I have my beard strainer and I'm just going over the beard on the outside right now. I'm just getting that all smoothened out, getting it nice and even and trying to really get the outside of it uh, fully extended so the beard's in its complete uh, extended state so it's all out so when I go to shape it, I'm not missing any hairs. So right here, you can tell that I'm lifting the top of his beard closer to his lips up and I'm kind of taking sections below that, just freehanding it, you know, I'm not taking like clean sections, but I'm just going under it to really get the neck part all evened out and getting that fully out because that's where all the length and all the bulkiness is at. So I'm just picking up layers by layers and just kind of pushing it opposite, opposite directions, pushing it up, down, sideways, just to get the beard fully extended. And you want to keep doing that continuously until you got it all completely out. I'm just taking a, a wide tooth comb, a detangling comb, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to go one more time throughout the whole beard, just to make sure it's all strained out and that there's no knots in there and it's all even so that later on when I come to sculpt, it's it perfectly all, you know, pulled out, extended, so I could get a really good shape to his beard. Right here, I'm just consulting with him seeing how I want the beard shape to be. But move on to the mustache. He likes to knock it down really short because he's always in a mask at work. So we knock it down to a one guard, get it nice and short, clean it up, line up the lip area very natural, and then bring the top part of his lip down as well. And we're just kind of giving him that triangle shape on his soul patch, get it nice and crispy, nothing too crazy, you know, keeping it super natural. All 
All right, now moving on to blending in the sideburns into the bald. So a lot of you guys ask me, how do you blend the beard in? So whether this would be a normal haircut with if you had hair on top or not, it's gonna be the same process. So first I did a three guard with the grain just to take away some bulk. And then from below his earlobe up, I'm doing with a three guard, completely closed. And then after that, I took my gammas, ergos, and took the blade off and just opened up the blade completely and made a guideline about an inch long. And now I'm closing the lever and I'm attacking that top line, removing that top bald line, get that out, break it, and then open the blade halfway. And then just after that, just lever play until you got that line completely out. And then after that, we're gonna move on to the two guard and do the same thing. We're gonna go about where his, a little bit, of, pretty much below his earlobe, a little bit above where we left off with the three, and then go completely up and then go with the grain as well, just to take away some that bulkiness so it's not too heavy around his sideburns. And then after that, I switched over to my one guard open, and then I'm gonna lever play from one guard to close. So for some reason, I don't know why particularly I did this, but I grabbed the, these are the single magnetic guards. This wasn't the wall system. So there's a single magnetic guard. So this setup is totally different. I don't know why I did that, I'm sorry, but pretty much you would go next to your one and a half guard from the wall system, and then to your one guard, and then the half guard. Because right here, this is called a zero guard, or the half guard. Um, it may be a little bit confusing for especially people who are in the from the UK, but I believe it's the three millimeter, the three millimeter and the six millimeter guards. And after that, when after I ran through all that, I went back to my blade with no guards, and I just lever played, picked out using the corners, uh, not digging in. Just use the corners because if you use full blade, you're gonna just create another line. And then I'm kind of just freehanding to take that off, and then I'm gonna go back and then detail because you can see there's a little bit of a. A fade transition between that two guard and then the half guard or the or the blade open so then i'm just gonna go back and just detail that and then you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side on the other side just follow through the steps and just see how i do so now i'm back to the two guard and just detailing getting out picking and then you know if your clippers don't blend well grab your trimmers and then flick out to get that bold line completely uh transitioned into the bolt and then now we're just lining up the back of his neck, keeping it super natural, just edging it up, keeping as much length as we can. We're just getting those little hairs just so we get a sharp line. And all the products that I'm using are from Gamma, the clippers, the trimmers. So if you guys do want to get your own, um, I'll have, they gave me a link for you guys down below. You guys could save 10% off. So it'll be down below in the descriptions. So for this side, I'm not gonna speed it up. I'm gonna keep it at the normal speed. I'm not gonna talk just so you guys can follow along and see what I'm doing. Now we're moving on to the lineup. I just applied a light uh, coat of shave gel. Uh, stay tuned, I got something coming for you guys, so I'm super excited for you guys to see it. But after that, we're gonna go ahead and grab our straight razor. I am using my own Turkish razor right here. Super fine blade. All we're doing is using our thumb to stretch up, having the razor at a 45 degree angle, and leading with the whichever side of the weight, whichever side of the razor you're going towards. So that part. I was going down, so I was using the heel of the blade. That was closest to his face, just using that single blade. 
but if I was going the other way, I would be using the point of the blade, so the very tip more closer to the end of the razor compared to more closer to the handle, if that makes sense. As you guys can see, I'm always leaning towards one side of the razor. I'm not using the full blade unless I'm removing bulk or the line is already there and I'm just kind of going over it to get it nice and completely sharp. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> And then after this, we're gonna go ahead and just edge up his lip area, just stretching it, having him pull down with his must with his mouth to get it super tight because this area is super sensitive. So you wanna be careful. And then same thing on the other side, make sure he's pulling down really tight so you get a nice flat surface. And I've found out that when you're working this area, it's nice to make like a kind of a C, uh, like a C cup motion. It's kind of hard to explain, but you're not going like scratching up and down, you're kind of rolling the blade so you get a more smoother shave. But same thing on the other side, using our thumb and then letting the blade do all the work. Don't force it, just let the blade do the work. And after that, you wanna go ahead and comb through it multiple times so you get a super sharp line. As you can tell, I go over it two, three times. When I have the shave gel in there, I go over about two, three times. And then once the face, I kind of let it sit. Once the face dries up, I'll go over it again later on, as you'll see. But now we're just throwing some enhancement in there to get that line up super sharp. As you guys can tell, it's gonna look the end result's gonna look super dope. Alright, next part is going to be sculpting the beard. You want to keep the bottom line super low because as the beard grows out longer, we're dropping the bottom of his line lower so it can become a more fuller beard. He's trying to get this like super long. So I just lined up the very bottom, followed it with my bronze shaver. Uh, the reason why I have this white towel right here is because when I go to shape it, since my cape is black and since his beard is black, it helps me see the flyaways a lot better. So that's why I have the white cape there. And then we're just gonna go ahead and stand behind him and he doesn't wanna take too much off. All I'm doing is taking the flyaways, the stragglers from the side. You wanna keep all the length in the middle. You just want the side more smoother and then as much length as from the bottom. So that's why we're just doing a very light trim, nothing crazy. And we're just getting all those flyaway hairs. And then as I get to the middle, I'm kinda of just like flicking out lightly just to get any hairs that are sticking off. But this service, just because a lot of you guys ask me how long I take to cut, or how long does it take me to do a certain service and all that. So this service is just completely a beard service and a head shave. And I spend a total of one hour on him. So I give him a full hour, I go shave the head, you know, a quick five, 10 minutes, shave the head. And the next 15 minutes I'm spending shaping, lining up, fading his beard and giving him the best service that I can. But just go ahead and stand behind your client and just follow, like follow what needs to be taken off, have a shape to it and just connect the dots from you know the line that you made from the bottom the line that you made on the back of his neck and where you left off with uh, going with the grain with a three guard Just gonna follow up with my curved shears these are my seven inch curved shears from barber nova and this is just gonna get those flyaways those extra hairs that the clipper didn't get and we're just gonna nice give it a perfect shape get the little hairs on the very bottom of his beard so it doesn't look too thin but as you guys can see the length is mean earlier today his beard was super compact and tight because like i said at work he wore his mask and stuff like that so you don't see the full length of his beard sorry the notifications on my computer are going off right now but so now after that, we're just gonna recline him back, go against the grain, so the haircut or the beard line lasts, you know, extra day or two, depending on how fast their grow, hair grows back. Let's get it super crispy. Next, we're just through some beard oil in my beard, in my in my beard, in my hands, and I'm putting some in his beard, just to give it a nice shine. Uh, helps hydrate the beard, conditions it, and it also removes itchiness. But like I said, guys, stay tuned. I got announcements coming up, and I'm super excited to share with you guys. But look, tell me the beard doesn't look nice. The, I know a lot of you guys would probably say the mustache is too short, but I think it goes with the beard. He pulls it off, 
go ahead and throw some oil on the head, get it nice and shiny. Make sure he's looking good, feeling good. And right here, I'm just taking my magic pencil. And I'm just following the line that I created. All this is doing is just outlining and just showing how crispy and precise the lineup is and how symmetrical it is. Same way how girls contour their eyebrows or you know use that pencil to kind of give the illusion. That's all it's doing. It's good for photos. Nothing, nothing special. It doesn't do anything for the cut, but just applying some aftershave. Make sure his skin's nice and clean. Follow it with a blow dry after this, so he's feeling cool and now he's ready to go and attack his day. But YouTube, this is how my boy Dre looked before. Looking rough. He was in need for a transformation, and this is how my boy Dre looks after. Woohoo! Bossed up. Dummy doesn't look crispy. Look at that. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you guys learned something new. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to like, comment, share with your friends. And I'll catch you guys on the next one, right? I'll see you guys.